Welcome back guys, so the PvP build for the Nikon chapter up to 39. I'm on my Magicka Nightblade with an insane burst damage build with front bar wall maiden. Pretty classic on a Nightblade with 600 extra weapon spell damage, almost 600 extra weapon spell damage. Two hour magic damage abilities, which are basically everything on a Magicka Nightblade. Debilitate, magic damage, our spam, conceive weapon magic damage, Mercer's Resolve etc. Only power extraction would get not empowered. Our backbar set, Rallying Cry, for extra 300, almost 300 weapon spell damage and 1.5k crit resistance. Gives us a chance to use other traits instead of Impen, like well fitted, couple divines pieces or sturdy. As monsters at Balog for the extra penetration and weapon damage and potentates two pieces for extra 3% damage reduction so no mythic needed. If you have access to mythics go with Marcune or Deathless Feet here. I wouldn't go with Sea Serpent's Koi with Conceit Weapon which also gives us Major Berserk. Koi would be only for Major Courage then. Up to you. With one trade Eden on a chest preferable for extra HP. Armor types 5 light, 1 heavy shoulder and 1 medium head. Full prismatic glyphs of course, like I said I have a couple of divines pieces which gives us extra magicka region with the Atomundus, then two well fitted and two sturdy, full infused on the jewelry for the extra healing, two weapons bad damage glyphs and one stamina region glyph needed with power extraction and vigor, two stamina abilities, two maces on the front bar, neon sharp, lame poison chant and the back bar, rallying cry eye stuff in defending, with the double dot poisons you can also go with the escapist poisons here. Quick look on the skills. On the front bar, no Karma Hunter anymore, since we have Shadow Disguise and it gives no major prophecy and savagery. 12% extra crit rate allows us to use an extra dot instead of Karma Hunter. I've decided to use Debilitate. Really strong. Reduce the movement speed by 50% for your opponent. Deals a good amount of magic damage and also applies the overcharge status effect plus minor Magicka life steal for extra Magicka sustain. Really nice dot. Power extraction, mainly for the weapon and spell damage buff, major brutality and sorcery, minor courage, another 250 weapon spell damage for 30 seconds and even applies minor cowardice to your target for 7 seconds, reducing their weapon spell damage by 215. Then concede weapon as sparable, which also sets the enemy off balance if we flank the enemy, so it's also a CC, plus gives us major berserk 10% extra flat damage and minor expedition, another 50% movement speed just slotted. Mercer's Resolve, it's a toggle now, means we don't need to reapply it again, saves us a ton of magicka sustain, Shadow Disguise like I said, mainly for the major savagery and prophecy, also to gain extra weapon and spell damage with the vampire passive, strike from the shadows, when you leave sneak, invisibility or mist form, your weapon and spell damage is increased by 300, with Shadow Disguise permanently up. Soul Harvest is ultimate, Applies major defy 16% healing reduction for your target and also gets empowered by War Maiden since it does magic damage. If you want, go with Incap if you have some sustain issues. Back bar, element susceptibility for major breach, 6k penetration, also applies burning shield and concussion, the 3 status effects. Race against time, a snare removal for minor force, 10% crit damage, and major expedition, 30% movement speed. Vigor is Healing over time mobility also gives 3k armor, siphoning attacks just for the extra sustain and extra healing, shoot offering as burst tier and as defensive, also offensive ultimate soul tether, I really like this ultimate, it's undodgeable, has an 8 meter AOE radius, it's a good amount of damage and even heals not a bit. If you need a shit button, go with temple guard here or the other morph of soul tether, soul siphon. Ray Stalmer for the extra weapon spell damage, flame resistance. Flame resistance really important, especially as a vampire, which we are. With Vamp Stage 3, our flame damage taken will get increased by 13%. Especially Magicka DKs are a pain in the ass. Really nice to have as a Dalmar the flame resistance. Any other Magicka rays like High Elf or even Khajiit for the extra crit damage works too. Mundus Tiatunak needed for the extra Magicka recovery. Then Smoked Bear Hunch for the extra stun region, definitely needed. Vamp Stage 3, like I said, mainly for Strike from the Shadows. And Undeath gives us the extra tankiness we need, reduce the damage taken by up to 30% based on your missing health. Really hard to execute a vampire. Attribute points, 39 points in health and 25 in Magicka. Potions, you know them, the normal Twice of Potions. I still use the Detection Potions against Annoying Eye Blades. Then CPs. Daddy A, Master Dumps, Exploiter and Rawful Strikes. 
Keep in mind, we can set the enemy off balance if we flank the enemy with Conceit Weapon. I would recommend instead of Rawful Strikes Ironclad, but I'm on NA at the moment. I don't have enough CPs yet. Pretty embarrassing, I know. Then Red CP, Sustained by Suffering, Pain, Suffused, Celebrity and Slippery. Pretty basic here. Combination. First of all, pre buff itself with Siphoning Attacks and Race Against Time. Edisus and Debilitate. Also Power Extraction for the Weapon and Spell Damage buff. Then Shadow Disguise, Incap, Conceit Weapon, into Bow. Make Overshot to flank the enemy to set him off balance. Otherwise you cannot stun the enemy. Then try to medium attack or heavy attack afterwards. Like this you can stun it. Easy peasy. That's it with another PvP build. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Peace.